Hey guys, what's up? Pit Martha here, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Smash Bros. Brawl Boss Battles on Intense Mode. In the last episode, we cleared up with Pikachu, and today I'll be post commentating over my boss battles for Mark, which has been sitting on my old computer for like a year roughly. And uh, yeah, I finally got a transfer to my other computer, so now I'm doing post commentary for this. Now that the time has come for me to do this, and yeah, for this one, we're actually going to have our one most likely only uh, boss battle run with taking no damage in the entire run through. Don't ever expect to see that again. I've already said multiple times Martha is my best character. Probably the only character I would consider myself good with. Uh, that and the fact that counter is incredibly broken in boss battles uh, helps a lot as well. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Uh, in the course of this video, unless I miscounted, if not, it, uh, if I miscounted it was off by one, the number of times that I used counter in all these fights combined and had it work successfully, like, you know, I didn't use it by accident or something like that, was 29 out of all the boss fights. There's 10 boss fights, so almost three times per boss fight. Granted, there was a couple that I had well over three, there were some that I didn't have any, but, I mean, if we average it out, that'd be about three. So 29 times in the uh, course of 10 boss battles, and here's one of them right here just because of how broken counter is, and in some boss fights it can literally block every single attack they throw at you. PD Piranha, Rayquaza can block all except for one of his attacks, I'm pretty sure. For Master and Crazy Hand, it can block all but one of their attacks. Uh, but the thing is, with counter, sometimes the attacks are fast enough, like Crazy Hand you just saw right there, where he swooped in to try to get me. It did work, it did not damage him because he was too fast, so the, the counter attack itself actually didn't hit him. But, I mean, it's enough to block the, uh, the actual attack, and, you know, Kind of like Kirby's uh, stone ability, which made him invincible. Counter doesn't work on everything, so you kind of have to experiment with what it does work on, what it doesn't work on. Uh, some examples of counter not working. Once again, Taboo's Red Rings of Death. For the counter on Porky's laser, it does work. However, if you're doing this on intense mode, you're going to have to counter it twice. Uh, I don't think Porky did the laser when I fought him right there, but you will have to counter it twice if he does use it. Um, the Porky bots that explode, it does not work on those. I believe it doesn't anyway. Don't quote me on it, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't work on them. So yeah, counter does really well. Uh, there's not a lot of problems to worry about with Mars aerials. His up aerial's good, his side, his back aerials are all good. The only thing you might want to watch out for, just in case you're uh, really picky about it, is whenever he uses his back aerial attack, it actually turns him around, and he's only one of two characters to do that. The other character would be Zelda. Other than that, you know, the characters don't do that. But whenever Marth uses his back aerial, it will actually turn him the uh, other direction. So if you're facing left and you use the back aerial, it'll turn him to the right. And that doesn't happen with a lot of the characters. All of his smashes are really good. His down smash will actually hit twice, like you just saw right there, which actually works in some instances. Most of the time you use smash attacks, you're probably going to use the upper side smashes. But really, I don't think you would need the side smashes that much. His regular attacks and uh, his aerials also function really well. You'll notice I actually did have a bit of a screw up right there. And on uh, on Duo, on which I believe I was going to fight next, I tried to like, you know, go for a really good time, and I got greedy with it, and so I finally I decided, you know, I probably should quit trying to do this and end up killing myself or something stupid like that. But I, I had the same problem with uh, duons at one point, because I was trying to play careful here, and I almost messed up because I was going too fast. Uh, on the projectiles that duon has right here, it does block those. I believe the only thing you can't counter against duon is uh, the blue half. Whenever he shoots the bombs out, I don't believe you can counter those. But like I said, counter is incredibly broken for a lot of these fights. Uh, a lot of it does come down to knowing which ones you can use. I will say for Ike, it's a lot harder. Mars counter, you can use it and it will pretty much counter instantly. With Ike's, if you counter this uh, like a split second before something hits you, or an attack hits you, whatever it does, it won't work. For Marth, it does. For Ike's, you have to do it a little bit earlier than you with Mars, and that's one of the reasons I'm actually much better with Marth than Ike. I mean, other than the fact that Ike's slower than Marth is. I prefer my faster characters, as everybody has already seen that I perform better generally with the faster characters. I think Pikachu is the only exception we've had thus far. Uh, the grab is another thing that counter won't block, but that's a grab for those of you that know your Smash Bros. staples, you'll know that counter does not work against throws. So if you're dealing with somebody in like uh, you know actual competitive gameplay that keeps countering, if you want to run up to them and throw them and they try to counter, it's not going to work. That's one of the few things that counter will not work against is throws. So I guess technically that attack from this is considered a grab or a throw, whatever you want to call it. So it will not work against that either. For Rayquaza, this is a boss fight where you'll see me use it a lot. Because as we've seen when he gets to the late stages, Rayquaza likes to attack in uh, patterns of three. And the patterns that he attacks in can always be countered, whether it's the side one like this or the one where he goes into the ground and comes back up, which I believe there was a pattern of three on that because... 
you'll notice that by using my down attack while just uh, while I'm on the ground, if I just crouch and keep hitting a uh, two, it actually does a very good amount of damage fairly quickly. So that's a very good way to eliminate Rayquaza without much difficulty. Pretty much, if you just watch each individual boss fight, you can see what to do. You don't really have to have a pattern going into each one of these. There's some you have to be more careful on than others. I'd say Ridley is one of the ones you have to be more careful on because sometimes you you know you want to counter, but he does stuff a little bit fast. Uh, the one right there that he has where he shoots the wind out at you, the wind can't hurt you, but if you run into him right as he uses that attack, it will damage you. Whenever he goes in the background like this, you can counter as well, similar to Master and Crazy Hand. So like I said, for the most part, you can counter everything he's got. Whenever he does the thing where he'll drag his tail along the bottom of the stage, that uh, you can counter, but I believe if unless you're countering at the end of it, it can still hit you. And there's a point here where I almost got hit by it. Not because I was trying to counter it, but because once again, I got greedy. I think it was right in here, because once Ridley gets the later points, he'll actually come back across the stage. And right there, I almost messed up. I got really lucky that I didn't mess up, and then I managed to get him right before he unleashed whatever attack he was about to do right there. So, Ridley's one of the ones that I had pretty close call with. For the most part, though, you can counter about anything. Taboo is one of the ones you have to watch out for what you can and cannot counter. Uh, you do have to play careful whenever he gets to specific attacks if he uses them. You can counter that one right there. The one where he like, dives down across the stage, like making a little bit of an arc, that is uh, able to be countered. If you want to actually damage him with it, though, you have to uh, fall a little bit. Uh, if you counter just the blade itself, but actually the counter won't last long enough to hit him. If you kind of fall down on him as he's coming down, if you fall down and counter while you're going down, that actually does hit him, but it's a little bit uh, too complicated to do. So sometimes you'll have projectiles like this where you can counter and it'll actually hit him if you're close enough to him, so you have to you know, manipulate it a little bit in that aspect. Uh, I don't believe you can counter the lasers from the giant table. I know you can't counter those explosions. I messed that up many times whenever I was first going through. I just decided to jump over there. I could have countered him. It would have worked. I know for a fact it does. It's just that I was uh, just decided not to go for it. The clones, whenever he shoots these out, uh, you can't counter those. You'll notice generally it's explosions that you can't counter. Which, if you read the Brawl Strategy Guide, uh, that's what it says. Um, I think Martha only got a 6 out of 10 overall in the Strategy Guide, even though... Uh, no, he got 9 out of 10. It was Meta Knight that got 6 out of 10, even though he's like banned from the tier list now. But regardless, uh, whenever you read about counter in the strategy guide, it says it can't counter explosions. Now, part of that's right. It seems like it, that's more so true for the bosses than it is for items. I've had plenty of times where somebody's thrown a bomb at me in gameplay, you know, just multiplayer, where somebody threw a bomb at me, and you can counter it. You can absolutely counter it. So, you can counter some explosions. I don't know which ones are which. I'm, I'm pretty sure it might just be referring to subspace or the bosses. But there is some stuff, item-wise, you can absolutely counter that's an explosion. You can counter the bombs, you can counter um, the blast box. You can technically counter the um, the other one, the smart bomb, but obviously that's not a good idea. You can counter that. But either way, five and a half minutes with no damage, I'd, I'd say that's pretty good overall. I think this is also where you'll see me unlock the uh, Gallium Tank Form Trophy. Am I right? Yep, because that was the first player I cleared with it on Intense, hence why it's been on my computer for so long. But that's what you get from beating it on Intense. And now that we've done that, I will see you guys next time for Mr. Game & Watch. So take care guys, and I will see you in the next one. Later.